Can we finish this bottle before we leave? Yeah, should we? Should we? I mean, we got a ways to go. I mean, why not? <laughs> Welcome, Liz. Hi. Liz is from the uh, Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce, but she's not wearing her Chamber of Commerce hat today. I always do, but not officially. She's correct. wearing her Midfit hat. Like that? Yeah. We'll get into that after. We are doing our second episode of Tapped In on Cape Cod. And uh, we're trying, we, I think we'll, we're six feet apart, don't you think? You I think, think we are? I think so. Okay, we're going we're gonna to remove Move the mouse. Oh, the pressure and the stress. <laughs> so, uh, last last episode, we opened up some aquatic there. Hefeweizen. I got to say that again, Hefeweizen, because I said the, I said it incorrectly last. Time. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing it. So, uh, so today we're gonna open up First Crush Winery there in Harwich. Uh, Frank Puzio owns that, his wife and he, uh, his wife Diane and he uh, run the shop down there. And then the second, but you don't really need that second. Uh, it's helpful if it's, you know, a bit tight. That was a nice little pop you got there. So I'm going to... Thank you, ma'am. I know that's not as healthy a pour as we usually drink. Shh. <laughs> so, um, these glasses. These glasses are uh, made by uh, Michael Magyar from the sandwich, uh, the glass music, the glass studio mm -hmm. of Cape Cod yep. in Sandwich. Yep. And so, we had received, my wife and I had received these glasses as a, um, an engagement present in 2012. And They're beautiful. We, yes. It's almost like a chalice. It's and like hefty. It needs to be hefty. It's and, hefty. And um, I talk about this all the time, but bad luck, right? Cheers. Yeah. We got to do social. social Salud. Right. Salud. 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 Hello. I'm Michael Magyard from the Glass Studio on Cape Cod, and I'm here to show you the perfect pour. It's important to firmly grip the bottle in your glass. That's the perfect so, pour. So, when I first met Liz, uh, she told me she was from Medford. I said, huh, we got hey. <laughs> And I don't know how it comes up, but it, it tends to come up a lot. I probably overheard it in a conversation. And because Medford is the center of the universe, it always seems to happen that way. Do you agree? Uh, uh, well, the, sometimes it comes out. You know, Medford oh, you pronounce M-E-D-F-I-D. M -E -D -F -I -D. So, yeah, and so, so Leslie that gives... So that could have been a clue. No, you know? I don't know. I just think, I mean, I don't think I've ever met anybody who doesn't know somebody, have a relative, somebody's mother, sister's cousin that they know from Medford. I'm telling you it's the center of the universe. Argue with me about that. <laughs> I won't argue with I wouldn't argue no. with me ever. No. <laughs> That's the Medford in me, right? That's the Medford, right? So Leslie gave me this at one of our networking events. So a part of, a small part of what we do is we host or we usually host networking events. We do a morning and an evening. And the evening one is usually based around a casual type of cocktail hour. And one evening, Leslie, who's a very active member with our chamber, and we appreciate her. Um, I try to suck her into absolutely everything we can so she can advocate for us, um, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, and I was real, I, oh, yes. yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then COVID just yeah. threw yeah. a wrench into So she gave me this t-shirt made, this is the, I, I actually think that this is like the first little gift anybody's ever given me. <laughs> ever or from the chamber? From the chamber, yeah, like a member. <laughs> I can't even take gifts from people, but I mean, this is fine, right? Well, so it's, it's very exciting. And it's interesting because the pronunciation of Medford is like such a mockery. But, yeah, but it's, they say Medva. It's not Medva. It's never like it's that. It's never Medva. And so this is accurate. However, I think I shared with you that my pronunciation, I think, 
which is essentially the same thing, is if it was spelled with an F-H-E-D as opposed to an I-D. Medved? Medved. 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 Yeah. Must be different by the time. Yeah, I don't know. Really, I want to stress, you know, Cape has this, you know, image of folks who have been here, they've been there, never going to leave. Yeah. Um, but it ha it does have an ebb and flow of people coming in and out. But there are some of us who have not, we didn't grow up here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're here and we're here, we've been here for a while and uh, it's got a lot to offer. And we want more people to come and stay. Right, so there is, I think that to that point, and it's something that we talk about often, is there is there is year-round culture on Cape Cod, and it's growing every year. Um, and I think that's important for people to know. We are a destination. We do thrive from an economic development standpoint on travel and tourism, 100%. Um, we've been doing that for the last hundred years. It's been a huge focus, you know. But the year-round life and viability is has grown exponentially in terms of what we have access to, in terms of what's here, in terms of what's open year round, um, you know, and what's available for for young folks to come and stay and have babies and have those babies go to school <laughs> and stay, here and stay and stay right. and then, you know, hopefully go to school and, and come back and, and continue to work on Cape Cod because it's a great place to be and there is a lot to offer. So that's a good thing to bring up, I think. It's important. Sure. And I think, you know, the chamber itself is, is a huge help for a business owner. I've, yeah. I found it tremendous. It was our first year in operation, and we just joined right away. We just got to know a whole bunch of well, fantastic people like you and, and other business owners. Um, but also, I wish that more uh, non-business, just residents, would tap into that uh, the website. The Chamber of Commerce website, so that they, I mean, we've all done it. We've lived across the street from something that we've never been into. You know, we have a, a, a pretty, a pretty decent, actually, it's a, it's a very large list of people who opt in to receive that information. And I think what our members do in order to promote that locally is is take advantage of getting that news out through us because we do have that broad reach not only to people who are invested in traveling here but people who want to know how to support local business on Cape Cod. We do have a made on Cape Cod section on our website so if anybody's looking to support locally made um, I think that's important. Um, there's a lot of things that you, we want to encourage people to, to look at and to look for. It's, it's not just for people who are visiting so thank you for bringing that up. So what's kind of some fun things you like to do on the Cape? Besides, you know, have cocktails. <laughs> so good question. So I love, I love being outdoors. So I do a lot of running um, and getting out as much as I can. So I do love to run the canal. I love to go down to the canal and run. Um, and I take, I have a five and a half year old daughter who's actually here with us. And we like to Go go in the house. Yeah, here. <laughs> we like to go and drive around and find playgrounds. Yeah, we like to find playgrounds that aren't necessarily close by. Um, we could have to do a playground review. You I know, know, like Coco's. Can I say Coco? Like, do you, you can. can? Okay, yeah. so Coco's playground review, and she rates it. You know, z one through even zero. Right? Yep. It could be a zero. Zero um, through ten. Say this is why it's a ten. This is why it's only a two. Any chance we get to support the arts as well is is huge. Um, a lot of that's been done virtually, so um, the Arts Foundation of Cape Cod is a great resource for anybody who's looking to support local artisans and artists and musicians and such. So that's usually something that we like to do. Um, you know, it's, it's hard. I love eating and drinking. Love. I mean, like, they're just going to tap into the Italian in me. So every chance I get, I like to go out and support our local restaurants, um, yeah, especially right now, it's especially stuff. right now, it is really hard. So what else do I enjoy doing? Love taking trips down the National Seashore and going to P-Town, stopping off in, in all of my, all my outer Cape Towns on the way. There's so much that the outer Cape has to offer to it really is spectacular. We have the most beautiful beaches in the country here. Um, and you take your pick, you know, if you 
like to sit all day, you can go to one side of the cape at low tide and spend the entire day just relaxing there. If you like activities on the water, there's something you can do in that regard. We'll I need activities. I bring, I have to bring frisbee or I have to bring a football or I can't, if I'm at the beach, maybe a half an hour in, I'm saying to myself. Really? What? Yeah, we could. Or if the water is good temperature, yeah. I can be in the water the whole time. That's that's fine. But I, you know how it is. It, it can be a bit. It's so funny chilly. because I can't ever relax or sit still or but sit down. But at the down. beach, you can. It's your happy place. It is. <laughs> safe sun. SPF oh, safe everybody. sun. Yes. Yeah. Safe be, sun. Be sure. Be sure. Yeah, for sure. I think that uh, this concludes our episode number two. Of I don't know how many, we'll find out. I think we should do um, so many. How many should we do? I don't know, but definitely a lot. Well, there are a lot of things that we could cover here on the Cape. Yeah, and I think it's important to highlight our local business community and get to know them. That's a big thing that I think helps a lot is humanizing, you know, humanizing things. It's, it's not just the company and what they do and who stands behind it. It's who's standing behind it. And right now, more than ever, we need that. So anything that we can highlight, anything that we can educate, anything that we can bring to the table to help support the business community on the Cape, right? right. I'll stand behind it. Absolutely. Thank you, Liz. Thank well, you. thank you for being a guest on uh, Tapped In on Cape Cod. Episode number two, In on the Ground Floor. Nice job. Thanks. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs>